Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have a special guest with me today and we're going to be re reviewing seltzer. <laughs> and now, we both love the You didn't taste. introduce me. <laughs> <laughs> my name is our special guest. <laughs> Hi everyone, <laughs> just to introduce myself, my name is Carol, I am an avid seltzer drinker, I, uh, there's two things you should know about me, I love pairing wool socks and Birkenstocks, mm -hmm. no matter the season, weather, um, just a little fun fact about It's a bold me. choice, it works. What's the other fun fact? Oh, <laughs> another <that> was two. <laughs> that was one. Uh... I also wear <laughs> Christmas themed garb year round because I don't think that a uh, a holiday should be just seasonal. Mm. That's also a bold choice. I like it. Yeah. I think it's good. Shall we um do the honors? Well <laughs> and pop open today's the cry. The first thing you wanna do when drinking a seltzer is Make sure you don't have uh, too much hollow space in the can. You always have I to find it's best if you smell it. it, just to see if you can get the essence of the flavor first before you um, drink it. And Do poke it a little bit, because, you know, I, <laughs> <laughs> I always drop mine. And I dropped hers, too. So hopefully they won't spray everywhere, but you just got to hear it. That's a nice... <laughs> Definitely biodegradable. Yeah. Is it? There are um, two pink dots on the bottom of mine. Not that Do you see? What are these pink dots? I'm not sure. You, you guys should nice call the like... company. Mm, mm. All right. That's so a, that's a should good we sound. have a nice pop together? Uh, Do you it in two steps? Let's try. Ooh. Oh yeah. That's Do the fizzle. fizzle. Actually, it's called the sizzle. I would say. Fizzle. See. Cup half full versus half empty. You say fizzle, I say sizzle. It's what a fizzle. What does that say? A sizzle is hot. Fizzle is things fizzling out. Sizzling is it coming it to life. It is fizzling out. Why are you being pessimistic <laughs> about your La Croix? Carbon dioxide fizzles out. That's that's how it ha It fizzles out. It doesn't sizzle like I'm steak. I'm an student. Okay. So am I. Well, mm. not really. Kind of. Ish. Mm. So upon that first sip, we recommend mm. that you uh, get a little dribble on your chin. Mm-hmm. Just like well, swish it around that in your mouth. CO2 marinate in your palate. Mm. Let the bubbles go between your teeth and your gums. It feels good. My you don't even need to brush your teeth. Just drink seltzer. With these. <clears throat> why what's the difference between natural and artificial lime flavor? No, the real question is why do they even post nutrition facts if it's all zero? Zero calories. Zero fat. Zero sodium, zero carbohydrates. I like zero that. sugars, zero protein. Just why? Why even put it there? It's water. Though oh. San Pellegrino has sodium in it. Really? Yeah, a lot. That's why it's so good. Yeah. That's seltzer out of ten. Mm. To be honest, I like the lime, but I, uh, I'm definitely more of a pamplemousse. Oh, wait, it's lime-flavored, so does that mean it doesn't have actual lime in it? That's what I'm saying. Ah, rude. But it says, it says, uh, natural lime flavor. Natural lime flavor. Now, why is the grapefruit one called pamplemousse? I've never heard that word before. <laughs> I've never had the grapefruit before. You mean the pamplemousse? The pamplemousse. I've never had pamplemousse. It's the best one. Seltzer out of ten. You know, I haven't had grapefruit in, like, six years. I had it yesterday. Oh, nice. Did you have pamplemousse yesterday or just grapefruit? Pamplemousse as well. Oh, what a good day. I'm proud. Combo! Now, Ooh. what's really cool is the artwork on the cans is so intricate. They have all these little lines everywhere. It's not just one color. They like really put a lot of effort <laughs> into the artwork Actually, on the Actually, I think can. it was just some Midwesterner going, Dad, it looks good. <laughs> Was it made in the Midwest? Yeah. I feel like it's not. They're from Michigan. Oh, they totally are. Yeah. Aww. Mm. Mm. Suddenly, did you smell ranch? I think I did. And mayonnaise. It smells like Michigan. 
Now, my question is, a Midwesterner, mm -hmm. say you're someone who works with the product, do you call it La Croix or do you call it La Croix or La Crocs? They call it La Crocs. You think so? They call it La Crocs and they call it Pop. You're like, ooh, let me oh, get some I'm of that La Crocs pop. La Crocs with a bagel and some Italian food. <laughs> yeah. I love eating La Crocs. <laughs> I love drinking La Crocs pop. It's the best kind of pop. Really burp. This stuff makes me burp. It also makes my nose leak. Does yours have pink dots? Yours is a blue dot. What does that mean? Do you see? The gendering <laughs> LaCroix cans now! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> What number is yours? Art, wait, what? 43C. M. It's like my bra said. You got a large band. <laughs> <laughs>